Let's play two more games. And let's see if we can get a Gambit. Now, there is a Gambit that is not going to be on the Holy Gambit Grail list, but I am going to play it. And it's the Wagon Gambit. <laughs> let's just have a fun one. Let's get our head back in the game. Wagon Gambit declined. Which is fine, I guess. You don't have to accept my Gambit. I'm still going to go here, even though you haven't taken my pawn. And we'll see. I don't know. Maybe you have some ideas of going after this, but I have ideas of going here. We will see. Interesting. Okay, goes right after the knight. Hmm. And I don't have all of the usual resources that I might have against this. This probably doesn't work. Uh, okay. Okay. I play f5. And here, which I think threatens to take the pawn. And I don't know what, how you defend it. So he plays there. Wait, but I can go here. Wait. And now I can go here because the knight is pinned and I've forked <laughs> his stuff. <laughs> Oh, imagine declining. Now I can just save my bishop by taking. Then when he takes back with a queen, he's going to be on this pawn. But I imagine... I go here. You can even take this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We let you take that guy. And then we just get castled. You can also take this guy. But now I just castle. I think it's awkward for him to develop. Because if knight here, there is a pin. So I'm technically up in exchange. <laughs> and he just gives up. What the heck? Is it so bad? He, he doesn't know how to develop the pieces. He just gave up. And that's how you win. If they decline the wagon. Let's take a real quick peek. Because wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the wagon gambit. And if you're unfamiliar, you should 100% accept it if you want to try to win. Also, say hello to future YouTube. Because that's where you're going to be seeing this. And... You should accept it, but let's, we've talked a lot about accepting it before, but what if they decline? Most people play knight to e4, but this is right behind it. c6 is like the computer suggestion, which is interesting and weird. Oh, but maybe it has some funny points. Because now if you go back, you play d5, threatening to go here, presumably. Most people have gone here, which is bad. But if you play here, computer move, same thing, you go here. I mean, humans are going to play here. That's just like the human move, but you hit them with this. This could already be some, like, stuff that they're, they're going to get in trouble with. But So C6, I'm going to try to remember that for next time. I went here, which is also kind of an interesting move. And after knight to C3, I pinned, so this is fine. And after here, F5 is fine. I didn't know if I was getting myself into trouble. I also, well, I wanted to go here, but I think G3 just wins, which is kind of sad. Um, there is this move. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what could be happening here? And, you know, you could take the, you could get some position, but that's not going to be enough. Um, so that's just nonsense. This is correct. This is correct. This is not correct. It's kind of, it leads to a funny thing. He's supposed to go here. He probably didn't do it because of some takes or something, but I think that's fine. It, I don't, or no, no, sorry. I would have taken here first, but then he does get to complete development and escapes. So that's what the opponent should do. But after this, I can take. If you take back, I take. And then what was the final position? I save my bishop by taking. He's able to give one check. But then I think you like, you look around and you're like, wait, I can't develop this. My king is stuck in the center, and the opponent didn't even want to fight it out. So anyway, so it's kind of a cool game. Maybe it'll go on the Vampire Chicken channel, and if you're seeing it there, make sure you subscribe.